शुक्लां ब्रह्म विचार सार परमात्या जगद्व्यानीना पुस्तकधारिणी मवेदा जाड्यांधकारापहा हस्ते स्फाटिकलिका विदती पद्मासने संस्थिता वंदेता परमेशरी भगवती बुद्धि प्रदा शारदा नवा सरस्वती देवी शुद्धा गुण्याम कौम्यहम पाणिनीय प्रवेशाय लघु सिद्धांत कौमुदी We are looking at uh, so I think we saw the first uh, Sandhi Sutra, Ach Sandhi Sutra, which is what uh, Eco Energy, and in Eco Energy, in the Sandarbha of Eco Energy, we saw the other sutras. तस्मिन्ति निरुष्टे पूर्वस्य स्वीकृयन की सेज व्हाट इकह स्थाने यण अचि परतः यण आदेश भवति इक इकह स्थाने अचि परतः यण आदेशो भवति तस्मिन्ति निरुष्टे पूर्वस्य एंड अचि हाउ डू यू इंटरप्रेट अचि अचि सप्तमी व्हाट काइंड ऑफ सप्तमी फर्स्ट भाव सप्तमी सती सप्तमी एंड देन दैट सती इज अंडरस्टूड बाय अ पारिभाषिक सूत्र तस्मिन्ति निरुष्टे पूर्वस्य व्हेन तस्मिन इन द सेवेंथ केस व्हेन इट इज शोन निरुष्टे पूर्व से आदेश होती, so आदेश will apply to the earlier, so स्थानी is the earlier, where it will be applying to, and which one should apply then इको यानी ची, which among यान should be the आदेश for एक, so there it is said स्थानी अंतरतमा, this this सूत्रा is introduced by लघु कार्य, स्थानी अंतरतमा हा, whichever is closest in proximity in स्थाना, that will स्थाना and प्रयत्न also elsewhere we'll see when when more are applicable prasange sati when more are applicable in adesh if there are multiple adeshas which are applicable to one uh, to sthani which should uh, be the adesha there the closest in proximity of sthana etc should be taken anachi cha is set for dvitvam here this is vibhasha vibhashena vibhasha as in it is optionally optionally this sutra can be applied and anachi is said when ach does not follow when ach does not follow then what happens acha parasya yaro dvesh vastah so yara yar takes doubling when it is not followed by an ach and what kind of a yar that or which is preceded by another ach so ach a yar which is sandwiched between an ach and a non non ach that will uh, take doubling optionally so sudhi upasya ti sthite you will get su su this dhakara can double so you get two forms jalam jash jashi thereby this dhakara becomes dhakara and then so jala jalam sthane jalam sthane jash jash is third of the class so varga tritiya adesh bhavati jashi paratah sanyoganta silopah and here we saw sanyoganta silopah in lagu kara in this prakriya lagu introduces this sutra but does not give an example he goes to the vartika of this sutra where yana pradeshedo vachya so thereby he says that the uh, okay i am not uh, i have mentioned this tadanta vidhi i have not talked about the sutra we'll see uh, uh, when when that sutra comes i'll explain but tadanta vidhi i don't know whether i uh, mentioned the sutra i have not written it so i am assuming that uh, i have not mentioned the sutra there is alontasya sutra but that is not tadanta vidhi if i said that i don't know whether i said that but it seems that uh, like something that i might have said you know in a, in a rush but yena vidhi tadantase the sutra yena vidhi tadantase tadanta vidhi sutra not alontasya if if i said that Uh, then we looked at the sanyogantasya lopa example so yana pratishedo vachya by that vartika lagukara says this yakara which is at the end of the sanyoga in sudhya sudhya and upasya this yakara should have gone by sanyogantasya lopa but the vartika says yana pratishedo vachya yan yan sanyoga yan at the end of the sanyoga should not take lopa adesha thereby it remains and he moves on further then in the last part we saw the kashika example for sanyoganta silopa which is matu pantha and here we saw a lot of sutras uh, which are not the uh, focus area here our focus area is to land 
on goman gomant gomant plus sa which is in the prathama the su pratya which is declining in the first case prathama ekavachana there what happens gomant when you reach gomant which is the pratipadika is gomat and gomat plus su in the derivation it will reach gomant plus su there this nakara takara is a sanyoga and that sanyoga antasya lopaha there the sutra is invoked and then takara at the end of the sanyoga undergoes lopa thereby you get goman plus sa then the sakara goes away by another sutra uh, our interest area is sanyoga antasya lopa applies to goman goman plus sa then we saw alontasya uh, in fact we saw alontasya before uh, that's why i mentioned alontasya where should this adesha lopa adesha what should go so not the so sanyogantasya lopaha as soon as sanyogantasya lopaha then antyasya alaha lopaha bhavati na tu padasya the entire pada should not be elided only the last letter al last al should be elided in lopa adesha if something else is an adesha then that adesha should also be applicable not only to the shashti anta but shashti anta whatever is shown by shashti anta but to the last letter of that okay so let's move on that was the uh, in the context of the eco energy sutra the next sandhi sutra second sandhi sutra is echo yavayavah echo yavayavah yeah so echo yavayavah the sutra says what echa echa ai Oh, I. So actually, uh, I need not split here. It's a uh, samasa. So padacheda is echo ayavayav. Echa ha, echa ha. This is one three. So prathama bhuvachana. Prathama bhuvachana. Prathama vibhakti you have adesha. This ay ayavayav ha is adesha. ayavayav and what is ayavayav that is said here ay ay av ay so ay kramat ay av so these four are the adesha ay av ay and av these four four adeshas for what for h h h h h and what is h h h h is a a ong a o ay ay out so ay and av so the, these are four here a o i o and then you have four adeshas i av i av and when does this happen h i av i when so suhu achi parata achi suhu h kramat i av i av ete suhu these are ete adesha suhu so if you say ete suhu ete ete adesha suhu what are those i av i and av so kramat and he says kramat sequentially and how did he know this kramat why kramat that is said by the next sutra by the next sutra so he introduces another sutra as how he got kramat here he says yatha sankhyam anudesha samanam so yatha sankhyam यथा संख्यम अनुदेशः समानाम इसे समसंबंधी समसंबंधी विधि ही यथा संख्यम स्यात यथा संख्यम संख सो यथा संख्यम संख्या संख्याम अनतिक्रम्य संख्याम अनतिक्रम्य विधि ही स्यात दी विधि ही विल बी हाउ हाउ वुड दी विधि बी दी विधि व्हिच इज गिवन व्हाट इज दिस विधि इन दिस कॉन्टेक्स्ट प्रकृते एचो अयवायव एचो अय औ आय आव एचो यवायव दे अय औ आय आव क्रमा सु दिस क्रमा इज द मीनिंग व्हिच यू गेट फ्रॉम यथा संख्या अनुदेश लास्ट टाइम व्हाट वी सॉ इन इको एनर्जी दिस कुड बी अप्लाइड इफ यू टेक इट एज अ जाति अदरवाइज इन इको एनर्जी यू से यू हैव टू सी सदृशतम सदृशतमत्व हैज टू बी सीन हियर You can just see H is what A O I O. 
what is this i i o so a a o i o but a i o o you can question as to what is the sthana what is the prayatna but how will you question the prayatna for i i is not a single letter i is a is like a word right how is also like a word i it is so you cannot ask what is the sthana of i a you can have a sthana y you can have a sthana but you cannot have a sthana prayatna uh, as a question for a a o i a o r adesha now you are confused as to what will be the adesha for what there is it it is in sequentially however it comes you apply one one is to one so it is uh, respectively you make the adesha yatha sankyam if there are four stanis and four adeshas the way it is here just match them one on one anudesha samanam just a second There's something else i need to say here so uh, this, okay this is technical we'll skip that okay so uh, what kind of shashti there is a question here uh, as to samana what kind of shashti it should be taken but it is technical not needed uh, we are not looking at some additional sutras so we just take samana samana for for these which are saman samana sankhya samana so sankhya samana samasambandhi is samana is what samasambandhi samasambandhi means what sankhya samasambandhi if there is similar sankhya for of adesha and of the sthani then those are samasambandhi so samasambandhi vidhi that kind of vidhi where there is samasambandha of uh, adesha and sthani there are sama uh, sankhya samanam is there and sankhya samyam is there there he says yatha sankyam syat vidhi yatha sankyam syat the rule should be uh, in keeping with the numbers the, the way they come that's the meaning uh, of kramat here that's how lagukara got this in his vrutti as kramat e chaha so what will happen is that a a h is what a a o i out Out. So these you have these four, and then each will take. So A will take. Sorry, A will take. By Adesha, O will take. Av Adesha, I will take. I Adesha, and O will take. Av Adesha. when when followed by an ach so achi pare that is kramat now the examples are covered after this yatha sankyam so this these examples are for ho yava yavah just like we saw in the derivation the all the examples that we covered here are really examples of uh, the uh, madhvari etc or lakruti those are examples of eco energy but in the prakriya it looks as if whichever is the last sutra it is mentioned under alontyasya that's how it appears but it is not under alontyasya it is under this uh, the achandi sutra ekoyanchi which is being covered and in the context he has brought in all sutras that are needed at that point of time and then he goes to uh, the next step each step he will move further using a particular sutra which is needed in that context similarly here also ho yavaya avah is the context in achandi under this sutra he has brought in yatha sankhyam anudesha samana and this paribhashika sutra he will consider as covered and this applies across not only with ho yavaya avah wherever there is same number of stanis and same number of adeshas that time this yatha sankhyam anudesha samana uh, can be applied i am saying can because sometimes there may be an exception and then it will fall back to the uh, the prayatna and uh, sthani antartamah so uh, sadrushatamah uh, may be seen uh, in some cases so what is the example haraye is the example he says haraye in the book it is given haraye right let me just so his example is haraye शिवरची हरए विष्णवे नायक पावका 
सो हर ये वॉट इज हर ये हर ये चतुर्थी एक वचन ऑफ वॉट ऑफ हरी शब्द हरी इज द प्रातिपदिक एंड देन ने प्रत्यय इज एडेड हाउ डू गेट दिस ने प्रत्यय देर इज अ सूत्र विथ से एक्चुअली देर इज अ अधिकार या प्रातिपदिक आफ्टर नियंत आवंत प्रातिपदिक आफ्टर प्रातिप आफ्टर प्रातिप पंचमी सो आफ्टर प्रातिपदिक विच इज हरी हरी इज अ प्रातिपदिक जस ए प्रातिपदिक फर्ग एक न्या प्रातिपदिक आफ्टर प्रातिपदिक पंचमी पंचमी यू सीन आफ्टर सो वेन एवर पंचमी इज गिवन दैट टाइम वॉट एवर इज सेट दैट विधि दैट विधि विच इज मेन्शन इन दिस सूत्र दैट विल एप्लाय टू वॉट एवर फॉलोज सो पंचमी आफ्टर प्रातिपदिक सो आफ्टर प्रातिपदिक वॉट डू यू डू देर इज अनदर सूत्र विच इज सुजू औ सो आल जस्ट स्प्लिट इट एंड राइट सु औ जस देन अम औट जस एंड सो ऑन सो इफ आई हेव टू पुट डेम टुगेदर इट वुड बी वॉट सौ जस सौ जस अम औउट Amount shas, amount shas, uh, amount shas. Tab kya am bis? Okay. Um, let me write separately itself. Otherwise, I'll have to anyway explain. So, au just am out shas. Tab kya am bis? ने सो वील स्टॉप हियर ने ने भ्याम भ्यस एनी वे ने भ्याम भ्यस एंड सो ऑन टिल दास्ट प्रत्यय सुख सो रामेशु रामेशु दू इज रामेशु दैट प्रत्यय सुख ओके सो फर्गेट द सूत्र नंबर डोंट फोकस ऑन द सूत्र नंबर Uh, right now, just focus on what is being said. If you look up the sutra number, you will not get this. What what we are talking about? So don't focus on sutra numbers where it is necessary. The sutra number right now we are interested is one three ten. This sutra is irrelevant to us right now. What we need is after a pratipadika, su is added, au is added, jas is added, am out, and then ne is added. We want to know ne is added. That's all. Okay. Because uh, I don't want to give sutra numbers right now. I'll have see it is four one two. But then I, each sutra, if I keep on telling you the number, then the uh, tendency is to look up. If you look up these, then you'll not get uh, how the derivation is. And I'm, uh, it's not good to keep on repeating this again and again. So let's focus on this. Forget this uh, this sutra number. Sutra number of our interest is lagu sutra number is twenty three, right? Uh, not twenty three. Actually, twenty three is also irrelevant. Twenty two is relevant for us. We are in the context of 22 Lagu Sutra and 6178. This you look up 6178 and see what is the Anuvrutti, how he got Achi. Uh, this is interesting to us because Achi is an Anuvrutti here, thereby we got Achi. However, uh, everything else is irrelevant. I am explaining that Sutra only because how did you know Nye is the Pratya? One question, and how did you know that uh, Hari after Hari it should be added? So this is the technicality that I want you to understand. When you say haraye is the example, haraye is a declined pada. What is haraye? Hari plus chaturthi vibhakti. What is that chaturthi vibhakti? Chaturthi ek vachan vibhakti is nye. How did I get this? And how did I know it has to be added after hari? Not by haraye. I knew by sutra that uh, this hari is a pratipadika. How do I know hari is a pratipadika? There is another sutra here. Arthad adhatur apratya pratipadikam. And I, I think mentioned earlier. What is arthavat arthavan? That hari is hari arthavan. Yes, it has arthavan. It has been used uh, uh, since it's a timeless usage. Hari hari shabda. So hari I know is a has artha. So arthavat it is. Is it a dhatu? Hari is not a dhatu. If you look up the dhatu patha, you will not find hari as a dhatu. Then it is a dhatu. Then so arthavat a dhatu. Is it a pratyaya? No, hari is not a pratyaya. So it is what arthavat, arthavat adhatuhu, adhatur apratyaya, apratyaya. 
एंड वॉट इज दैट अर्थवत अघातुर अप्रत्यय प्रातिपदिकम प्रातिपदिकम इज वॉट संज्ञ इट इज अम प्रातिपदिकम आफ्टर दैट आफ्टर एंड सो हरी इज अर्थवत अधातु अप्रत्यय एंड देर फोर इट इज अ प्रातिपदिक नाउ इट इज प्रातिपदिक देन आफ्टर प्रातिपदिक नेक्स्ट सूत्र इज वॉट न्या प्रातिपदिक नेक्स्ट सूत्र लुकअप इज न्या प्रातिपदिक फोर वन वन देन फोर वन टू से सुअस आफ्टर अ प्रातिपदिक वॉट हैपन्स दिस इज एन अधिकार इट रन डाउन फॉर अ लॉन्ग वाइल आफ्टर अ प्रातिपदिक सुअस दीज प्रत्यास कैन आर टू बी एडेड सो आई हैव एडेड ने बाय दैट देन न्यकारा अंडर गोज लोपा न्यकारा दिस इज न्यकारा प्लस न्यकारा प्लस ए कारा न्यकारा एंड ए कारा आर देर दैट मेक्स अप ने सो दिस न्यकारा इज एन इथलेटर the way we saw upadeshe janunasika it had mentioned but what we have seen in the uh, lagu prakriya is halantyam it halantyam it is the so like halantyam there is also another sutra around that area which is lashak patadite lashak patadite lashak patadite patadite lashak patadite what it upadeshe जनाकूर्ण So Don't you understand this point? Uh, for completion, I am uh, adding this to the different yogtiya. So yogtiya, hari plus a. Okay. So this is my three. Oh, oh. This way is very interesting. Can you see this now? You hear me? Is the voice clear? Yes, sir. Okay, uh, screen is back. Uh, is it clear? Is the voice clear though? Or should I call in? Anyway, we have some background also now. Okay, so you will have some background uh, song also. So there is uh, these Navratri songs have started. They have put in speakers and stuff like that. It will go on for next nine ten days. Anyway, should we continue? Is the voice clear? okay so let's continue so what happens here now is lashakvat tadhite so lashakvat tadhite and when a non tadhita it's a non tadhita atadhita so atadhita ku what is ku ku is we have seen uh, ku is ka varga so ka varga letter ka kh ga ga ny 
So the Varga Pancham of Ka Varga letter is what? Is Nyakara. This Nyakara and that Nyakara is what? It. And then thereby after that once it is called it Tasya Lopaha. The Sutra Tasya Lopa, Tasya Kasya Itaha, Tasya Itaha Lopa. And what is it? It is here for our interest is Ku. So Tasya, when this Ku is added, uh, so Ku is the letter here in the Upadesha that undergoes Lopa, that Nyakara undergoes Lopa becoming an It and Tasya Lopa, thereby A remains. So what should happen now we have reached the case where Hare, Hare plus A, A is what? A is Ach and Hare is what? This Hare, uh, here there is another Sutra, uh, this Sutra would be um, Subanta Prakriya, it would be Gher Niti. So I'll just mention this, don't focus on this Gher Niti because I have to explain what is Gher now. Uh, I'll just tell it but uh, let's not go into much of this. There is something called as Ghi. There is something called as Ghi. Ghi is a Sanya. Not for uh, this clarified butter. Not that Ghi. Ghi is a Sanya, a name given to this. Currently take it as Raswa Ikaranta. Raswa Ikaranta, Raswa Ukaranta. Uh, some of these like Nadi, there is one sanya called Nadi, not this Nadi as in the river, but Nadi is a sanya and there is another sanya in contrast to that which is Ghi. There are a lot of sutras, this is a little complicated section, just take it as Ghi is a sanya and Gher Niti, Gher Niti what happens, there is Guna. So Gher Niti, Gunaha Bhavati, just Gunaha is one Adesha, Gunaha and what is Guna? Guna is again, we have to see a lot of sutras for this. Uh, this Guna Sutra is coming next, so I'll just mention that a little ahead. This Adeng Gunaha, At and Eng are Guna. At, At is At, Akara and Eng, A and O. So Akara, ek, Ekara and Okara, Cha Guna Sanyasya, that is Guna. So I'll not write that down, Adeng Guna, as in I'll not explain this further right now. We'll see when we reach there in a few couple of Sutras. Adeng Guna, At, A and O are called as Guna. Here, so here uh, Aden Gunaha, Aden Gunaha, by that what do you get? Angasya Gunaha, uh, this Ghe Niti, Ghe uh, Ghe Guna. So of a Ghi, this Hari is called Ghi. It gets a Ghi Sanya by some other Sutra and Ghe He Niti, Niti, this when Nit Pratya follows, this is a Nit Pratya, Nyakara Ityasya. Nyakara ityasya, this Nye Pratya is, has, is that Pratya which has Nyakara as an it. Therefore, uh, Niti, this, uh, it said what? Gher Niti. So, it is a Nit Pratya. This, this Pratya Nye can be called as Nit Pratya. Why? Because Nyakara ityasya, uh, Saha Pratya, Sa Nye Pratya, it, uh, it, it Sanya ko Bhavati. Nier Niti, uh, not sorry, not it's a Nit Sangyaka Bhoti, Nit Sangyaka Bhoti, not Sangyaka Bhauri. So, uh, okay, let me write down. I myself am getting confused. So, what is this uh, Nit? So, Ghi I explained, Ghi is a Sangya, and Niti, Niti is seventh case of Nit. So, if you have to look at Niti, it's a pretty slow. You're running across, please. Okay. So if I, uh, I'll, I think I'll write it and then erase. So, Nyakaraha, Nyakaraha, it, Yasya, Yasya, Nye Pratyasya. So I'll say Nye, Nye is the Pratya, Nye Pratyasya, Saha, Nye Pratyaha, yeah, what is called as Nit. Nit Pratya. So this is Nit. Nyakara Ityasya. And Tasmin Saptami. Yes. Tasmin Niti. Tasmin Niti. This is the explanation of Niti. So Ghe Niti Guna Bhoti. Ghe He for this Ghi. Ghe He for this Ghi. Hari. Hari is Ghi. And Ghe Niti. Niti Pare. When Nit Pratya follows, that time what happens? Guna happens. And Guna will be for what? Alontyasya. It will not be for the entire Hari Shabda, cannot take Guna. There is an Ikara here, the last letter E, and here it is clear, Guna will be only for a vowel. And Ikara, what is the Guna for Ikara? 
देर आर थ्री गुणा लेटर्स अकारा अकार अदेंग अदेंग ए एंड ओ सो यू सी फॉर ए एकारस्थाना यू लुक एट एंड एकारस्थाना यू लुक एट यू विल गेट एकारा इज द आदेश न तू उकारा वेर इट इज कंठोष्ठा एंड एकारा इज नॉट लाइक दैट एकारा इज लाइक इकारा देर फॉर इकारा एंड एकारा विथ स्थान अंतरतम यू विल गेट एकारा एज द आदेश एंड देर बाय हरी हर प्लस ई विल बिकम हर प्लस ए एंड यू विल गेट हरे नाउ हरे प्लस ए सो एक्चुअली आई हैव ऑलरेडी रिटर्न घेर नीति अर्लियर ओके सो डिलीट दिस आई हैव रिटर्न हियर शेषो घी असे का असकी हे सो देयर इज आई नॉट गेट इन टू दिस अगेन सखी सखी वर्जयित्व सो सखी शब्दम वर्जयित्व घी घी दैट इज शेष वॉट रिमेन्स देर इज अ सेट ऑफ सूत्रास वेर नदी संज्ञा इज इंट्रोड्यूस एंड घी संज्ञा इज इंट्रोड्यूस एंड देर आर मल्टीपल सिच्युएशन वॉट एवर रिमेन्स आफ्टर दैट सूत्र दैट इज शेष शेष घी दैट घी वॉट इज घी घी इज अ संज्ञा अ सखी सखी इज ऑल्सो वॉट इकारांत सखी इज अ शब्द सखी इज सखी सखी शब्द सखी शब्दम वर्जयित्व एक्सेप्ट फॉर दिस सखी शब्द विच इज इकारांत एक्सेप्ट फॉर दैट The, uh, everything else which is shesha in the set of sutras where all others are covered but hraswanta sakhi shabda this sakhi shabda is hraswa ikaranta except for that what remains will get ghi sanya and thereby this hari remains there hari gets ghi sanya and there ghir niti angasya guna sya ghir niti angasya guna sya adeng guna by adeng guna guna adesha you get and then stane antar tama you use स्थाने अंतरतम स्थाने अंतरतम तम देर बाय यू गेट एक आदेश सो दिस इज नॉट अ सूत्र दिस इज एन एक्सप्लेनेशन सॉल्व ब्रैकेटेड नाउ वी हैव रीच्ड अवर सूत्र एचो यवाया वह दिस इज अवर इंटरेस्ट एरिया नाउ ओके सो व्हेन यू रीच हरे हरे प्लस ए व्हाट शुड यू डू ए इज अच अची परे अची परे व्हाट ए चाह ए चाह इज दिस ए कारा ए कारा दिस ए कारा नॉट दिस ए कारा दिस ए कारा इज अच अची परे एंड दिस ए कारा दिस ए कारा इज पार्ट ऑफ एच सो ए चाह स्थाने ए चाह स्थाने व्हाट आदेश होती अय आदेश होती ए चाह स्थाने अय अय वाया वह आदेश होती those adeshas but adeshas among those h ha is a o i o therefore the kramas a o i and a so for a kara you have ai adesha thereby you get har plus ai har plus ai you will get this was what har earlier it was har and e har and a sorry this became to guna so a har a a gets ai adesha so here all right is har a this was har e so ekara got this ekara adesha by guna and ekara got ay adesha so this ekara got ay adesha by h h o yavayavah so i this is the first example of the sutra thereby you get har a and this is a padam suptingantam padam next example is vishnave what happens in vishnave vishnave is vishnu shabda vishnu vishnu is the pratipadika same sutra same set of sutras so i'll not repeat those vishnu plus what ni again ni vishnave chaturthi ek vachana so vishnu plus a what will happen here vishnu Vishnu plus ne again. This Vishnu will take Vishnu plus. So this Ukara. Now there is Ukara. There is Guna again. Ikara's Guna is Ekara. Ukara's Guna U. When you pronounce U, you use Kantha as well as Osta. Kantha Ostam. Ukara is Kantha Ostam. So when you have Kantha and Osta, then what is the Guna letter? Ikara does not use Osh. Uh, does not use labial. Does not use lips. what do you use uh, uh, for where do you use lips 
Akara, Ekara or Okara. We use lips for Okara. Therefore, Kantoshtam for Okara also. Thereby, Sthani Antartama by that, this Vishnu, Okara, will get what? Okara Adesha. So, that is Guna. So, by Guna, it will become Vishnu. And Vishnu plus A. I'll not derive all these steps. A. A because Nyakara is gone. Nyakara is by Lashak Vattadjite. It. And then, Tasya Lopaha. Thereby, you get A. And Vishnu plus A, what will you get? So first you will get Vishnu plus A. So if I have to write all this way, Vishnu plus A, then Vishnu, then Vishnu, Vishnu plus A by Guna. Now, H O Y V A Y V A H. Because H O Y V A Y V A H, why? Because Akara is Ach and Okara is what? Okara is a uh, H letter, is an H letter. Thereby, A O I O. Okara is included. This is second. A I O. A O I O. So Okara, what should happen to Okara? The next Adesha. First one was I, second is O. Therefore, you'll get O Adesha. So Vishnu, Vishnu plus Vishnu O would become Vishnu. So here it was Vishnu. I'll just separate it and write Vishnu and O. It was Vishnu O. Here it has become O by Guna. Then Vishnu. What will happen? Vishnu. Vishnu, this will get Avadesha. So Avadesha, Okarasya Avadesha Bhavati. Here Ekarasya Ayadesha Bhavati. Ekarasthani. And then you have Ekara here. So you get Vishnave. Then Sutting Antam Padam, thereby Vishnave will become a Padam. Fourth case, singular. Vishnave Namaha, Haraye Namaha. What about Nayaka? Nayaka is another example. So you have to land on Nayaka. What is Nayaka? Uh, ni. Ni is the Dhatu. It's a Krudanta Shabda. It's a Krudanta Shabda. Ni is the Neenj Prapane. So there is a Dhatu. Neen Prapane. To make reach. To make reach, to attain, to uh, actually to make reach, make reach is better, prapane. To lead, to make reach or to lead is the meaning of ninj. Ninj is dhatu in the dhatu pata, nyakara is it. By what? Now see, upadesha does not only mean pratyaya. We see what is upadesha. Dhatu pata is also an upadesha. Therefore, ninj, which is introduced in the dhatu pata by Panini Maharshi, that is also an upadesha. So, upadesha halantyam it, thereby nyakara will go. Actually, it is Ninj Prapane. The Dhatu in Dhatu Pata will be Ninj Prapane. So, Ninj Prapane, Nyakara will go by Halantyam. So, what will you get? Ninj Prapane and here you have Ninj Prapane. Will, uh, so, you will have Null. Null is the Pratya here. This is the derivation for Nayaka. Ninj Prapane Dhatu plus Null. This is a Krut Pratya. Krut Pratya. Krutpratya is null. How do I get this? So, uh, how do I add null? Um, null trichow. So, null trichow, there is a sutra, null trichow. It's one, uh, prathama dvivachana. Null and trich. Null cha, trich cha, null trichow. Itar itar dvanda samasa. Null trichow. When, what happens? And there is another sutra. Uh, Okay, I don't recall the exact sutra right now. So, uh, uh, Kartari, just let me have a look. Kartari, Dhatu Patha, no, sorry, Ashtadhe, Sutra Patha, Nul Trichau, Sixty-seven, three, four, six. Okay. So there is another sutra, Kartari Krit 
So Krit Pratya, this is, a, this is an, uh, an Utsarga, a rule which says that Krit Pratya generally, unless otherwise specified, Krit Pratya will be what? Kartari Arthe. So Vishay Saptami, Kartari Vishay Krit Pratya Bhavati. This is a Vidhi Sutra, which says what? Kartari Arthe, Kartari Vishay Krit Pratya Bhavati, where all that is said in other sutras. So this is a general sutra where you don't know what kind of meaning unless otherwise specified in this section, Krit Pratya will be added in the sense of Karta. So you'll get Karta when you add this Nul Truchav, nothing is said. Uh, Nul Truchav, Pratyayav, Bhavataha. They should be added. When should be they added? They should be added. So this is in an Adhikara. What is called as Dhato Adhikara. Dhato Ho Adhikara. After a dhatu, panchami, panchami, ek vachana dhatu, like guroho, guroho, like guroho, you will get guroho, gurubhya, uh, gurubhya, so dhatoho, dhatubhya, dhatubhya, so dhatoho, after a dhatu, after a dhatu, will trichu, so how after, this is also in an adhikara which is pratyaha, parascha, parascha, so pratyaha, uh, dhatoho, Paraha, Dhatoho, Parascha, Pratyaha, Nultrucho, Pratyaha. So Pratyaha is singular, but since Nultrucho is dual, you can convert this to Pratyaya. So Nultrucho, Pratyaya, Dhatoho, Paraha, bhavat, Bhavataha. This is the Vritti you will get. After a Dhatu, Nul and Truch Pratyas can be added. And in what sense? So there you have to bring in another Sutra, Kartari Krut. This krit, they are krit pratya, nultricha are krit pratya, and therefore kartari arthe bhavati. So therefore, when means prapane dhato, after dhato, dhato ho, paraha, this nul pratya, nul tricha bhavata, nul tricha can be added in the sense of karta, meaning what? Means plus, means, means plus nul, whatever you get as a pratipadika after that, that will be a karta of what? Of the Kriya, indicate, kriya, which is the meaning of this dhatu, means, means what? Prapane arthe. Prapane arthe to reach or to make reach. To, to make reach uh, 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 the, the uh, means prapane, prapane arthe, uh, the pratipadika means plus nul, whatever it is, that will be in the meaning of prapane, prapana karta. So he is a prapana karta. Okay? Further, now, Nul Pratya is added. So, uh, then this Nakara, okay, I am going through a lot of sutras, I can't help myself, that's the problem. I'll try to reduce the sutras, let's focus on this. So, Ni, you get Ni, so Dhato, no, okay, Dhato, no, Naha, so you'll get, uh, this Natvam is in the Dhatu Pata, it, it becomes Na, so, uh, So, uh, okay, uh, my issue is that the sutras come to mind, then I go in those sutras, I'll, I'll try to avoid, let's let's focus on this. Okay, ni, this means is in the dhatu pata, it is for a technical reason that uh, he has, uh, Pandi Maharshi has made this uh, uh, dhatus as uh, na, uh, beginning with nakara, this actually they are starting with nakara. But in the dhatu pata, he has given them natvam. He has made them murdhanya nakara for a particular purpose. Similarly, you will see uh, others also. He'll, uh, uh, so, no, no naha and uh, uh, saha shaha, all these are there. So, uh, the, by the, uh, by some sutra, then it is brought back to nakara. So, you get ni. Ninj is ni. And this nyakara by halantyam it goes, halantyam it and tasya lopa. So you get ni. So ni is the content of the dhatu. Ni plus nul. This is what you are uh, left with. Ni plus nul. What happens to ni plus nul? What is the content of nul? So before you go to the content of, uh, actually content of nul, lakara being at the end just like this nyakara, let's take it at the same time. So nikara, nyakara goes and uh, nul is lakara goes. You get nu. Then this uh, Nakara goes by another Sutra, which is what, which is, 
chutu so chutu chutu there is a sutra this is chutu means what in the same section upadesha janunati kayet halantyam uh, then uh, adir nitudavaha lashakvatta dites uh, blah 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 all this and then uh, somewhere you get chutu and chutu is what it is dual like guru guru who guru you get guru who guru so similarly here this is chu chu cha tu cha tu cha it chutu so pratipadika is chutu but then dual uh, actually uh, it is uh, chutu only so chutu it's a uh, it's an itare itara dwandva so itare itara dwandva you will get dual chu cha chu cha tu cha and chu here this is actually uh, chu chu and tu just like you had ku here lashakvatta dite you had this ku here this ku is also has an anunasika ka varga so here cha varga and ta varga so cha varga ta varga put together is what chutu like guru hu guru so it will become dual you have chutu so chutu is what chutu it there is an anuvrutti of it chutu it and other the also there upadeshi etc adi uh, thereby you get tasya lopa after that tasya lopa all of these undergo lopa and you will be left with wu and when wu remains there is another sutra which replaces this ni plus aka that's how you get aka there is another sutra which is yor anakau yor anakau yor anakau so anakau the, what does mean say yo ho yo ho ana ana and aka ana and aka adesha for what u and wu this wu also yo ho like yo ho is what like guru ho yo ho yo ho is a guru ho so yu kara is replaced by ana and wu kara this wo ho is wu wo kara wu kara is replaced by aka here we have wu kara this wu kara if had it been you you would have got ana adesha it is wu therefore you get aka adesha thereby ni plus wu will become ni plus aka then there is now ni will become nai why nai because nakara is it here nakara being it there is another sutra which says acho niti acho uh, acho niti acho niti what happens there is vruddhi there is vruddhi adesha and what is vruddhi instead of guna there is vruddhi here earlier we saw there is guna this uh, hari becomes hare and vishnu becomes vishnu because there is guna adesha here however there is not a guna adesha there is a vruddhi adesha why this is nakar nakara nit and nit so i'll say niti so niti and niti pare so when nakara is an it letter or nakara is an it letter here nakara is an it letter in null in null nakara is an it letter therefore niti parata when a nit pratya follow then what is a nit pratya nakaraha ityasya yasya null pratyasya saha null pratya nit pratya and niti parata niti pratye pare what will happen angasya vruddhi adesha bhavati angasya antya antyasya alaha alontyasya vruddhi adesha bhavati and what is vruddhi vruddhi is the, the first sutra of vruddhi sanyaka sutra is the first sutra in ashtadhyayi which is what Uh, like guna guna you had the guna is the second sutra so here you have vruddhi uh, vruddhi adaich is the first sutra second sutra is adeng guna vruddhi and uh, this itself is called uh, actually uh, i repeated the class uh, as a recording in uh, these online classes but uh, we had done these classes in bangalore the first class we opened the sutra not with halankyam but with vruddhi radesh and adeng guna because these are supposed to be panini maharshi's mangala charana there is a puro paksha there as to why is there no mangala charana done by panini maharshi he became a maharshi later but he started creating something and when he started creating something shishtachara uh, is what you have to do mangala charana we started our class with those saraswati prarthana with lagukara does with his he created with the prarthana why did panini not do it 
So there the answer given is he has done it. What Panini has done, that, he, that is why he is a Maharshi. He did not, see he is writing a Sutra Patha. In Sutra Patha that Sutra itself is a prayer. So Vruddhi, Vruddhi is the meaning of Brahma, Bruhi Vruddhav. The Dhatu, Brahma Dhatu, Bruhi, Bruhi Vruddhav. Bruhi is the Dhatu, in the Dhatu Patha it goes as Bruhi. The meaning is Vruddhi, Vruddhav, Vruddhi Arthe. So and Bruhi, Bruhi takes another Pratya, it becomes Brahman. And Brahman is Jagat Karanam, the entire thing is Brahma. Nirguna Brahma, Saguna Brahma, va, both are these what? These are Brahma. And Brahma is Brahmi Vritta. It is huge. How, how big is it? It is limitless. And thereby the prayer to that limitless entity, whether you call as Ishwara, Paramatma, Atma, Nirguna Brahma, Saguna Brahma, that is what? Nothing but Vruddhi. And by saying Vruddhi in the first sutra itself, he has made Mangala Charana. That is the beauty of the Maharshi. He has done the prayer. People do not even understand that he has done a prayer by saying Vruddhi. And thereby he uses this Vruddhi as a Sanya. And what this means is Aath. Aath. Aath is Akara. Aath. Aich. Aath and Aich are. Aich, we already, Aich is what? Um, Ad, Ad, Aich. So Aich is A, O, I, O. So I and O. So I and O. Ad, Aich is equal to Ad, I and O. These are what? These are Vruddhi letters. Guna letters are A, A and O. Vruddhi letters are A, A. So I will not write Ad, A, A and O. Now, Ni, what should the Adesha be for Ni? Stani Antar Tamaha. Should A be the Adesha? No, A is Kantha. I is what? I, Ikara. For Ikara, what should be the Adesha? This is Nakara and Ikara. And Ikara, uh, we have seen that for Ikara also, the Sthana is like Ikara only. It is only Dirga. Thereby, you will get I Adesha. O has Ofta also. You will get I Adesha. And thereby, Na, Nakara, Na, E will become Na and I. Nai. So you get Nai by what sutra? By the current sutra which we are looking at, which is Echo Yava Yavaha. Echo Yava Yavaha. This is the sutra which we are looking at, just in case you have lost track. So by the sutra Echo Yava Yavaha, we have got this Adesha. And Stani Antartama, of course. Stani Antartama. Thereby, what happens is that na, Nai plus I, Akaha. So you have Nai plus Akaha. What happens to Nai plus Akaha? Now, uh, so Nai plus Akaha. So this Vruddhi, I have just jumped the gun. So here Nai plus will be now. So now you will get what? Not this E Kara, but a will get, A will get, this Nakara gets a I Adesha. You get I Adesha by H-O Ayavayava. H-O Ayavayava will give you this I Adesha and then, na, so Na Yakaha. Na, A, I will be replaced by I because Kramat, it's a Tritiya. A, O, I is the third one. I, O, I is the third one. Therefore, you'll get I. So, here not Stani Antartama, I'm sorry. H-O, Eva. Stani Antartama is here. Uh, I said Stani Antartama and H-O, Eva. So, don't get confused with that. Stani Antartama is at this stage. Here, I'll get Stani Antartama. Antartama. Thereby, I Adesha for E Kara. And here, I Kara, uh, so I Adesha for E Kara by Stani Antartama. And Vruddhi Radesh, here I Adesha for I Kara by Echo Yavayavaha. Echo Yavayavaha. And here what? Here you will get what? The uh, Yatha Sankhyam. Yatha Sankhyam. Yatha Sankhyam. Anudesha Samanam. Anudesha Samanam. That is the sutra by which you will get the, this I Adesha. And then, so thereby you get Nayakaha, 
and then this can be declined. Nayaka. Uh, another thing I have not mentioned here is Nayaka is what Pratipadika. How? Krit Taddhita Samasascha. I have covered this sutra earlier. So I mentioned, I covered as in mentioned. That will be what? Pratipadikam. This is the next sutra after what? Pratipadikam. After the sutra that we saw here, Arthavad Adhatuhu Apratya Pratipadikam. This is the first sutra in the Pratipadikam. First sutra is in which gives first sutra which gives Pratipadika Sanya. There you have Pratipadikam in the sutra itself. So Arthavad Adhatu Apratya Pratipadikam. First definition. What else is Pratipadikam? Krit Taddita Samasascha. So Krit Taddita. So Krudanta. Krit Taddita. Here you add a Tadanta Vidhi and get Krudanta. Taddhitaanta, Taddhita Pratyanta, Krit Pratyanta, Taddhita Pratyanta and Samasaha. They are what? Pratipadikam. Here you have Krit. Therefore, Krit by Krit. Since you have Null as a Krit Pratya, Null was a Krit Pratya which was added and thereby you got a Krudanta Pada. So Krudanta Pada Nayaka is Pratipadikam and after Pratipadika you will add Su, Sumaujas and then you get Nayaka. The Sakara at the end of the Pada becomes Visarga. So this Ukara undergoes Lopa by Upadesha Janu Nasikaya. Sakara is the content. Sakara at the end. So Nayakas. Nayakas becomes Nayakaha by uh, what you call, what Laghu will call as Visarga Sandhi. So last one is Pavakaha. How do you get Pavakaha? Here it is Poonj Pavane. Poonj Pavane Dhatu. Poonj Pavane and then plus same null, null, then you over anako you will get pu. So pu plus aka. This before that let's say oh let's either way it does not matter. Even if you add make aka later, let's say let's do it without. Let's not make aka here. Let's say pu plus null itself. And this nakara being an if letter, pu will undergo vruddhi. So, ukara will undergo vruddhi. What is the vruddhi for ukara? Ukara vruddhi letter would be Aukara because again both have Kantoshtam. So Kantoshtam because of that you will get Pau and Pau plus Null. Null will be replaced by Aka as earlier what we saw. Thereby you get Pau plus Aka and then Echo Yavayavaha. Last one is Av Adesha for what? A O I Au. For Au Adesha is a O I Av. Av is the Adesha. Therefore, you'll get Av and Aka. Av plus Aka, you'll get Avaka. Krittadita Samasascha Pratipadika. Then Suojas Pratye Pratipadika. Nyap Pratipadika. Suojas. Su can be added. Sakara will become Visarga. Avakaha. Means what? Again, this is what? This is by Nultrucho and Kartari Krut. So, Avaka is who? A Karta of Pavana. So, Pavana Karta. What is the meaning of this? Is equal to Pavana Karta. Here, what is the meaning? Nayakaha. Ni Karta. Ni Karta means what? One who makes you reach. Who is that? A leader. Ni Karta is a leader. If I have to say Ni Karta is a leader, it's not Ni Karta. I'm just saying that Karta of this Dhatu Ni. So, Ni is a Dhatu here, which cannot be added. I'm just mentioning as a meaning. It's not a word. Here Pavana Karta. Pavana is a word, so I can say Pavana Karta. Here uh, it is what? Prap so you can say pra Prapana Karta. Prapana Karta I can say. Ni Karta is in Dhatu. This Prapana is the meaning of that. So Prapana Karta. One who makes others reach. So thereby he is the leader. So Nayaka is a leader. And pa Pavaka is a Pavana Karta. So thereby he is a purifier. How did you get it? By Null, Kartari Kruch. This is how, we, so we saw little Kridanta also, how, we know how meaning is derived. So that is Echo Yavayavah. Another Sutra says, Vanto Yi Pratye. What is Vanto Yi Pratye? Vanto Yi Pratye. Vantaha, Vantaha Yi Pratye. What happens? Let's look at the Vritti to understand. This is Saptami Ekvachana. This is Saptami Ekvachana. Pratye Saptami Ekvachana. And Vantaha. Vantaha is 1-1. One, one. 
See, Echo Yavaya Vahad, Vanta Yaprate. What does it say? Yakarado, Prate Pare. We'll see the meaning Yakarado. How do you got how do you get Yakarado? Prate Pare. So Prate is there in the in the sutra. So something ye let's say ye prate pare. First you'll say ye prate pare. That becomes Yakarado. How we'll see? But ye prate pare. Let's now uh, right now let's understand that ye prate pare. This is the meaning of Yakarado. So ye prate pare. From the sutra, ye parasaptami. Parasaptami, why? Tasminiti nirdishte purvasya. Thereby, tasminiti nirdishte, I get this the parasaptami. Pare, that's how I get parasapta. So, sati saptami becomes parasaptami by tasminiti nirdishte purvasya. So, ye pratye pare, that's how I got pare, parasaptami. Pare, what happens? Ad oto ho. Ad oto ho. This also we see Ada Uto, uh, sorry, Oda Uto, Oda Uto, Oda Uto is what? Oth, 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 Oto, Ho, Au, Au, Etaus, Taha. There are Vantaha, Vantha Adesha, Vantha, so Vantha Yi Pratye, difficult sutra to understand. What is Vantha? So Vakaraha, 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 Ante, Yasya Saha Vantaha Saha Vantaha This is the Bahuri Vanta Vakaraha Ante Yasya And what is Vakara Ante Yasya? If you look at this in the Echo Yava Yavaha Echo Yavaha Yavaha What is the Sutra saying? Sutra says Echaha Kramat Ay Av Ay Av Ete And in this Here This is Yakaranta This is Vakaranta this is Yakaranta, this is Vakaranta. So what is this? Ay, Av and Av. Av and Av are Vanta. So these Pratyas, Av and Av are Vanta Pratyas. So that's what is mean, meant by Vanta. Vanta is what? Vakara Ante Yasya. Vakara Ante Yasya. Yasya Kasya. Yasya. Uh, Av Pratyasya. Av Pratyas, uh, not Pratyasya. Avadeshasya. Av. Uh, so yasya, yasya avaha I'll say, because you know av, yasya avaha va, yasya avaha va. So av and av, in saptami it will become what? Marut, marut will become marutaha, so av will become avaha, in shashti, in shashti ek vachana. So yasya avaha va, yasya avaha va, avaha or avaha are these vakaraha anta, therefore they are vanta. Vanta is equal to vanta is av and avanta. Uh, av, av and av adeshas. Uh, I said yakarado will explain. Hold on. I said I'll, I'll explain yakarado. I didn't miss it. I'll, I'll come to that. So the previous surface, what is this, uh, I didn't understand this, previous surface also has av, ava, but different, I don't understand this. What is the question, Amma? Sai Priya Ji? Uh, I don't understand your question. I'll wait for clarification or I'll move on. Okay, uh, tell me what, what you meant uh, when you can clarify the question. So. So, Oth Oto Ho, what happens? Oth Oto Ho, this Vantaha is Prathami, Prathama Ekvachana. And it is what? Av or Av. Because Vantaha is Av, Vakara Ante Asya, Avaha, Sa Av, Vantaha. And Yasya, uh, so Av is also what? Vantaha. So, Vakara Ante Asya, Avaha, Sa Av, Vantaha. So both are covered by saying Vantaha. Vantaha is the Adesha. So Av or Av are the Adesha. And what is that? That is, so, so actually this Sutra, if you look at it, it is 6179. Earlier Sutra was in the Ashtadhi also it is just 6178. So 6178 and 79. So Echo Yavayavaha Vanto Yi Both are following each other in Ashtadhyayi. And here they are one of, as in two of, because there is another 
sutra sitting in between this 23 sutra yatha sankhyam anudesha samanam but this vanto yi pratye follows echo yava yavaha so i this av and av come from the earlier sutra ay av ay and av are the adesha the ay ay vaya vaha ay vaya vaha from that vanta two or vanta two or yanta yakaranta two or vakaranta so he says vakaranta are the adesha when ye pratye pare when ye pratye follows what is ye pratye there is no pratye called ye there is no real pratye called ye what is said is that yakarado how this ye goes to yakarado i had mentioned there is uh, the the saptami panchami which are used in the sutra tritiya is used in the sutra shakti is used in sutra however when any cases are used when you have pratyaya so in the vritti you have pratyaye and ye so ye and pratyaye in the sutra itself you have saptami ekvachana so ye is what it's an adjective to pratyaya pratyaya is a substantive and ye is its its visheshana so in visheshana is seen in any case so prathama dvitiya tritiya chaturthi panchami shashti saptami then by default tadanta vidhi applies tadanta vidhi sutra is yena vidhi tadantasya so that sutra applies however there is a vartika under that so there is a sutra which says yena i'll take five more minutes yena vidhi tadantasya this is a sutra for tadanta vidhi so yena yena vidhiyate vidhi is what yena vidhiyate tad antas antasya bhavati so antasya padantasya when a vidhi is given that is not only applicable to itself but also but also or to padanta it's a padanta vidhi tadanta se not padanta vidhi let's not say padanta se alse ant uh, not pada ant just say ant so what is can be done is that i'll explain uh, this in detail another time but let's say there is a vartika for this which says except if there is a saptami all cases ant ant so ant means ant word tadanta se ant can be added so let's say um, earlier we saw uh, uh, let's let's say in the context so so vartika why is vartika vartika says what yena vidhis tadantasya uh, yena vidhis tadantasya yasmin yasmin vidhis tadado alagrahani so <coughs> yasmin vidhis vidhi tadado tadada alagrahani grahani so there is a uh, vartika under this which says yasmin vidhi yena vidhi tadantasya bhavati so anta can be brought in and added to the adjective that's what it means so uh, by this what would i have got by this let me just tell you as to by tadanta vidhi what would you have got so tadanta vidhi says what in this case itself we'll see by this tadanta vidhi if i add this yena vidhi tadantasya which is tadanta vidhi by that i would have got this this anta shabda can be brought in that's tadanta so tadanta is whatever that is that here is what here it is ye so ye is the yena vidhi yena vidhi is ye ye ityanena vidhi vidhiyate therefore yena vidhi is what ye ityanena vidhi that vidhi ye ityanena vidhiyate iti ye vidhi ye vidhi this ye is applicable as what ye is for pratyaya so ye pratyaye means what this ye ye is seventh case of what of yakara so it is yakara seventh case of yakara seven one of yakara yakara so like marut marut will become maruti similarly yakara will become ye so ye pratye pare means what when y- this you can't even pronounce yakara is the pratya so when yakara pratya follows so yakara pratya follows so this is what yakara ye is equal to yakara seventh case so yakara is uh, so seventh case of yakara is equal to what yakare so yakare yakare is the meaning here so yakare pare when yakara follows what is that yakara pratyaya yakare pratye pare but here yakara is not a pratyaya 
only akar is not a pratyay in the ashtadhyay let's let's say that it is not there and since it is not there what is the meaning of this tadanta vidhi is added and tadanta vidhi is what tad is what tad is whatever it is in the sutra yen so yakara is tad there yakara yakara here is tad ya ya is tad ya is yakara i can't pronounce a consonant without a vowel so this consonant yakara this consonant which cannot be pronounced is said as yakara it only means and in yakara also this akara sits its here a uh, this is a uh, is for uchcharana what i really mean is only this y- yakara this this is called as yakara so yakare pare yakare pare means what this is by tadanta vidhi i can drop this saptami and bring it after i add yakara plus anta and then add this saptami 71 71 will mean what is equal to y yakarante yakarante pare so what this tadanta viri says that anta can be brought in for tat tat is y yakara yakara is tat yena vidhiyate yi yi tyena yena vidhiyate tasya anta so anta can be added and i can say yakara yakare is equal to yakarante this is what i get by tadanta vidhi which is applicable everywhere an adjective can be added anta and in the sutra whatever is said that adjective it can be declined in the same case as the substantive or in the same case the adjective is in but by changing the word by adding anta that pada to it so tat whatever that tat is to that anta can be added and tat here is yakara so yakare is equal to what yakarante this is what i get by tadanta vidhi there is an apavada to this in the uh, vartika there vartikara says however what panini maharshi means because we have seen elsewhere he says when except when saptami is the vibhakti here the vidhi is uh, vibhakti is what saptami yi pratye pare so vanta yi pratye saptami except when saptami is used and saptami is used not only saptami is used but that saptami used for this yi yi is the adjective that saptami not the substantive here but here you see the adjective the saptami is a single al it is a single letter when saptami single letter is used uh, sorry single letter is used declined in saptami in the sutra then tadanta vidhi is not applicable and exception to that is tadadi vidhi is applicable so here he says exception is what tadadi vidhi tadadi vidhi just like tad, uh, tadanta vidhi you have tadadi vidhi tadadi vidhi means what instead of anta pada adi has to be added so instead of this anta you add adi this is tadanta vidhi here so by tadanta vidhi you should have got yakarante so yakarante pratye pare not yakarante pratye pratye pare yakara is a single letter so yasmin vidhi tad adav tad adav algrahane algrahane is when algrahana is done algrahana is single letter grahana is done ye is algrahana how is ye algrahana yakara is a single al therefore algrahana has happened only single letter has been used and when saptami algrahana is done tad adav here also tad adav i'll separate it and write tad adav tad adav algrahane this is what the uh, sutra says uh, the vartika says yasmin vidhi yasmin vidhi tad adav algrahane so adav algrahane so you can be uh, say here what instead of this you, you will get what now as an exception you will get yakara not anta y is equal to what y is equal to yakara plus adi plus this saptami saptami vibhakti thereby you will get what yakara adav yakara adi will get yakara adi is the pratipadika like hari will become harau yakara adi will become yakara adav in saptami and that is the meaning here as yakara adav that yakara adav we have landed as a meaning of y so what is y by by y what is meant is yakara adav so yakara adav pratye pade pare when not when yakara yakara follows but when yakara adi pratye follows whenever a pratye starting with yakara follows okay that is the meaning we'll stop here that time what happens 
this av av etau sah the, the here uh, so i'll just mention the example we'll go into details a little the, here this example is not that important so i'll uh, just uh, uh, cover this but then uh, we'll just see this this is what this yakara that you see here that example is given here how this uh, it is actually uh, go shabda so what is it it is go shabda plus some ya pratyay is there ya pratyay is following this is not yakara it is ya yakara and akara ya is the pratyay not 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 this otherwise he would have sufficed here the pratyay is ya akara is there additionally so this go plus ya how did you get gau plus ya gau how did go become gau au okara become au because h o a y o is when achi pare but ach is not following yakara is following uh, ya is following not yakara ya is following <coughs> so yakara adi pratyay pare by this vartika ji was not vartika vanto yi pratyay by the sutra vanto yi pratyay and by uh, tadant vidhi uh, tadadi vidhi tadadi vidhi you get yakara ado pratyay pare what happens oath oto auto ho oath and okara okara and aukara gets avakara and avakara like earlier sutra which is achi pare but here yakara adi pratyay pare only for o and au not for a and i only for o and au au and a will be the adesha i and i are excluded here etau stah these will be the adesha so go plus ya will become what gauvyam gauvya and in neuter it will become gauvyam so go plus a will be gau gau plus ya and then thereby gauvyam similarly since i have already covered all, this is also now now is now now plus ya will become now na nakara plus now so it will become now now plus ya navyam so uh, nadi which is uh, or uh, jalam so jalam jalam navyam jalam so let's say navyam jalam navyam jalam so jalam which is nau yogya so navyam is what nau yogya nau is to cross over by water that's the nauka the uh, the boat so navyam is what jalam navyam that which can we fit to be crossed over which can be crossed over that is uh, and here gavyam also go here to be go vikara so taddita tad, these will be taddita pratya vikara arthe so it is what uh, go go vikara so you can say go vikara is gavyam and uh, uh, fit to be crossed over is navyam jalam okay so we'll stop here uh, sorry for taking a little more time just wanted to complete it yeah it is uh, uh, it is it, it, it is first case only in neuter you will get first case also you will get am for akaranta akaranta shabda vrata vasane nataraj rajo nana dadhakkan panchavaram uddhar tu kamas sanaka disiddhane tad vimarshe shiva sutra janam tat sat